But have you heard Woo! the man behind what you crave? He is a party with a body. Yes. And this king of the jungle is swinging through the trees in search of a fair maiden needing rescue. You can find him flexing on the sandy beaches, basking in the sun rays. In order to be the king of the jungle, you have to look the part, of course. Strutting for you, his designer loincloth from Ivy and Fleur, and his accessories from leaves, trees, and in between. He is serving you Father Nature. Embracing all things blooming and growing with this hunk, you'll be surprised to see what spring has sprung this year. Ladies and gents, behold the king of the jungle, the marvelous Mo. Are you sick of the same old lame takeout? That's why I order GoGo -Go Express. GoGo -Go Express has a wide variety of dishes, giving you countless options that is sure to leave you saying, well that was just fine. Always served hot and fishy, GoGo -Go Express will satisfy the hungriest of queens. GoGo -Go Express is guaranteed at least 10 minutes late, so you know they are consistent. More than 10 minutes tonight. To order, just call 780-468-6663 or 780-HOT-NUDE. Open late sometimes. Phone GoGo -Go Express today. And don't forget, send hot nudes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number two, Go Go Fetch. Yes, go go. Ladies and gentlemen, Ruby Hyman, the bartender. Go, bitch, go. This is not the yes. yes. Anyone who serves a cocktail. Thanks, Ruby. Thank you, Ruby Hyman. <laughs> Make some noise for Ruby Hyman. Literally work, bitch. <laughs> In a galactic world full of gorgeous and Clemenzonian women, Pheromone kills yes! them all with her astronomical dress. She has the infinite power. down for Phil. With this new world order, she plans to take over the universe. With her intricate crafting skills, spreading her charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent like wildfire throughout the Astros. If looks could kill, pheromones will. Contestant number three, pheromone kills. Electrocute is giving you Queen of the Fairies realness. Woo! Having missed her Greyhound, she got here the only other way she could. By flying up with her state-of-the-art, custom-made, imported fairy wings. Her crown was lost on the way somewhere between Red Deer and Pinocchio. But don't worry. Worry she won't because she is here to snatch her replacement. She is, she is very happy to be here and hopes to enchant the audience and judges with her opulence and beauty. And remember, every time you vote Electra, a fairy gets its wings. Serving glamour and finesse, she's the next Anne's. was a natural woman until a virus she engineered turned on her. A miraculous transformation took place and Alberta's next day supervirus was born. Phil is lucky enough to be infected with her genome. She squirts from her cooter and she ends to orgasm as she takes over their brain, leaving them with boundless compassion, persistent curiosity, and a burning desire to suck cock. 
The Burning can also be from the class. She probably knew him too. But what's new? She mutates faster than any other species can comprehend. And she is unstoppable. Get ready, world. The age of ivy is upon us. Ivy League. Hailing from Calgary, Alberta. Weighing in at a whopping 142 pounds, I present your reigning drag WrestleMania champion, Carson the Crusher. And by the looks of it, he's not going to let anyone stand in his way. Yes, he's won three gold medals in the Drag Olympics and has defended his title in the Drag Wrestling League for six years in a row. Tonight, suited up in his finest fringe, he's ready to go head to head with anyone who dares cross his path in his quest for glory. Ready to bring the pain, it's Carson the Crusher! Drag kings confuse me sexually. <laughs> My boner is ready to go. My tuck is popped. Cat Marlo Menora is the Empire is located at the end of her Milky Way. Her shoots into her black hole. Her royal alien commands include mandatory pizza, mandatory glitter usage, and everyone gets probed at least once a day. Her ass is out of this world, and she has all the aliens saying, Take me to your leader! Who knew the extraterrestrial could make you so extra obsessorial? <laughs> And your eighth and final contestant, serving piping hot medium double double out of Tim Hortons drive through Stephanie Prince. Legend has it that this Phoenix used to lure hot straight guys into her cave and make them her bottom little bitches. But when their wives found out, they started hunting her and beat her to death. The wives decided to put her feathers to use and turn them into feather dusters. And that is the story of how Filipino housekeeping was born. And now she was reborn with extra abilities. She can spit fire, cover the sun with her wings to throw a little shade, and deep throat a 13 inch dick without gagging for five minutes. Oh, honey! that she is not a lady boy anymore because she is a real biological woman now. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephanie Prince. So that was our fantasy